right, so we're going to talk about one of the most underrated factors in your overall health. We sometimes call it your X factor. And it's something that you do every day, but the large majority of people, I want to say 70% of people or more, don't do it very well, and they're not uh, doing it well enough to see the, the benefits that they can get from it. So you, by looking at that little graph, you may, uh, you may have guessed it's sleep. So sleep. I'll write it down so everyone remembers, and you're probably thinking, duh, of course you need your sleep. However, the fact is, most people don't get enough sleep and not at the right times. And the time that you get to sleep is really important, just as important, if not more important, than how much you get. So I'm going to talk about a few things that are, will hopefully clarify some stuff for you. Maybe some light bulbs will go off. You'll figure out why you might have been uh, fatigued or struggling. And uh, I'll explain a little bit about the downward spiral that we often get into. So 10 o'clock, 6 o'clock. In a perfect world, you've probably heard you need your eight hours sleep a night. Everyone's a little bit different, and uh, some people can get away with a little bit less sleep, like maybe seven hours. I'm not talking four or five. There are maybe 0.01% of the population that can function relatively normally on um, le uh, like four or five hours sleep. Now, that being said, it doesn't mean you can't exist on four or five hours. You can go lots of time without sleep or sleep one or two hours a night. Look at new moms and, you know, when they first have kids. Most families don't sleep much at all those first few months, if not the first year or so. That does not mean you're thriving. Now, we're making a different distinction between surviving and thriving. You can go through life like a zombie and not get much sleep, but it doesn't do much for your health, your fitness, your you know, vitality in going through life. So what we're going to talk about is how you can start to thrive. And when you actually start to thrive, it's like taking the blinders off and actually seeing life in a completely different way. Your body starts to change, your mindset starts to change, all kinds of things happen, but a big part of it is sleep. So in a perfect world, we get to bed between nine and 10 o'clock at night, and that, you know, for some people that's going to seem like ridiculous. Their kids might not even go to bed that early. The fact is they should be, and you should be too. Um, our bodies were meant to go on like the light dark cycles and it shifts a bit during summer to winter. But in, in general, nine to 10 o'clock at night is a great time to, to shoot for. You can maybe stretch it to 11, uh, but I usually tell people or and tell our clients to shoot for nine to 10. Now, not everyone at the beginning is gonna start sleeping at that time because if you're used to staying up till one or two in the morning, going to bed at that time is not going to work very well. You'll probably stare at the ceiling, no problem. Try it out anyway. Spend a couple weeks working on it, and there's some other strategies that we work with our clients on to help make a more effective nighttime routine to prepare them for sleep. You don't want to just like slam the laptop and try and crawl into bed and hope that you're going to fall asleep right away. You want to have a bit of a routine and plan for that. But the first few hours, uh, like four to six hours that you're sleeping, are the most important. Um, generally, the, the first couple hours uh, from 10 till say midnight or one in the morning is your physical recovery. Your body is repairing itself. And from about one till four in the morning, in that range, give or take a little bit, it depends on what sleep cycles you're getting into and things, but that's your psychological recovery. So if you're missing out on some aspect of that, you're missing out on the various things you might be not clear in your thinking if you're missing out on that or your body's not recovering from the workouts properly or just in general. So that's really the most important time. You're actually better off getting to bed at 10 and only sleeping for six or seven hours than you are going to bed at midnight or one and sleeping for eight hours because your body's gonna be more effectively rested. Now that being said, it's gonna take a bit of time to get into there, practice it, try it out. You'll notice your life will change completely if you start to do that. So it's time, get to bed. If you're staying up at midnight or one in the morning watching this, shut off the computer and go to bed. And then you can watch the rest of the videos tomorrow.